I saw the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachach Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who well, peace of salutation, as always, to be elect. You know, each brother has an angel, you know, and the elect period have angels guiding them, watching over us, you know. And there's particular points where, you know, we may feel like we're forsaken and, you know, the angels are still there, man. They're always there for the elect, man, you know, to guide us through this walk, man, to put the spirit on us to continue to keep fighting, Lord willing. We're in this thing for the long run to the end. As the scriptures say, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be said. Now, you're going to have to have a hell of a spirit on you, okay? You're going to have to have a hell of a spirit on you to uh, endure all the way into the end because this thing ain't going to be easy, but I want to bring this out. This is Matthew, the 18th chapter. In the 10th verse, it says, Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels you see that their angels do always behold the face of my father which is in heaven you see that now the little ones are the elect men those who are willing to um, submit themselves to obedience to the will of Yahweh man as little children to desire the sincere milk to take correction Okay, it says, take heed that you despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father, which is in heaven, man. <laughs> their angels, man. So there is particular angels watching over and guiding the elect. Let's get a precept real quick. This is 2 Kings 6 and 16. He answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened his eyes, the eyes of the young man, and he saw. And behold, the mount was full of horses and chariots of fire around about Elisha. That's the chariots, man. But there's more of us. Even right now, there's more of us than it is of them. That's why we don't need to fear, man. Now you had those thoughts of what if Esau does this, he got this, he got that military, he got these guns, he got all of these carnal things. Well, the Lord says their horses and chariots are only flesh, man. But the horses and chariots of the Lord are spirit, man. See, Esau is control. He has a supervisor. Satan has a supervisor. Satan is control, man. But we have a bigger military than they. But ours is invisible, which takes faith. Theirs is carnal. This is Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Bam. Woo. Psalms 91 and 11. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. The angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. The angels are going to be sent to gather the elect. The angel of the Lord. You can read all of these scriptures, man. The angels are always there, man. Uh, Hebrews 1 and 14. Are not they all ministering spirits? They serve for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh To minister is to serve, right? They do the bidding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to keep us in the way. Sent forth to minister for them. Who shall be heirs of salvation? Who are the heirs of salvation? The elect. You see that? The ministering spirits are sent forth to minister for us so that we can be heirs of salvation, man. The angel delivered Peter out of prison, man. Acts 12 and 11. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel and have delivered me out of the hand of Herod 
and from the expectation of all the people of the Jews. So we're going to find ourselves in some crazy situations, but the Lord is always going to work a way for his elect, man. Okay, even if you are a martyr, the angel is guiding you to stay firm and stand boldly into the end to even take the death, man. But uh, I'm going to end it off here. Psalms 91. This is what's getting ready to happen. The Lord is going to give us front row seat to the destruction of the wicked, man. Psalms 91 and 8. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. And see, we're doing that right now, man. Why the evil day isn't completely here. Now, we're in evil times, but... You know, over the last, you know, our apostles and elders, you know, 30 plus years of serving the Lord, man. Prophesying, you know, hating our lives unto death, man. Going out to the highways and the body, making our bodies a living sacrifice, man. Why everybody else lived it up. We made the Lord our refuge, man. That's what we dwell. It says, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh to thy dwelling. See, a lot of brothers, sometimes we focus too much on the doom and gloom, or, you know, but we got to remember, this is also written too, man. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone, man. You see? <laughs> so, so right there, the Lord is going to give his angels charge over us, man. To keep us in all thy ways, man. To keep us in the right mind frame. You know, the angels are there, man. You know, where two or three are gathered, there are the angels. Where brothers dwelling together in unity, the angels are there, man. When we doing these videos, the angels are guiding and dictating our words. You're doing the video because the angel sealed your instruction that night before you woke up that day to do the video later on that day. This is a beautiful thing. I just wanted to bring that out. Shalom. I saw the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him.